Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom. Hello, my name is Sahaj Veer Singh and in this show I will be playing Bhaskara, the great Indian mathematician. Thank you. Hello, I am Alex and I will be playing Euclid, the famous mathematician from Athens. Thank you. Hello there. My name is Amar, and I'll be playing the role of President James Carfield. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Jermaine. I like to eat fish, macaroni, and chess. And I'll be playing with Barack Obama. Okay, now what you want to do first is uh, draw the right triangle. And let's label it A, B, C. And then what you want to do is uh, extend the sides to make squares. Off of sides B, C, A, B, and A, C. Now you have to connect lines from E, A, G, C, B, K, B, H, B, L, and B, J. This is the end of the construction. And make sure you know that D, B, A, and C, B, F are collinear and straight. And it's very important. In this next part, there are a couple of steps. First of all, triangle E, A, C and triangle B, K, C are congruent. We know this because of the SAS postulate. In triangle EAC, line EC is congruent to line BC of triangle BKC. This is because there are both sides of the square EDBC. The same can be said about lines AC and KC. There are both sides of the square CHAK. The angle ECA is made of a 90 degree angle of a square and what we call alpha. Angle BCK is also made of a 90 degree angle from a square plus alpha. Thus, they are equal, proving the triangles are congruent. The next step is proving that triangle EAC is one half of square EDBC. As you can see, the base of the triangle EAC is EC and the height is DE. This means the area of triangle EAC is EC times DE times one half. The area of square EDBC is just EC times DE. This proves that triangle EAC is one half of square EDBC. <clears throat> the same can be said about triangle BKC and rectangle CLJK. The base of the triangle is KC and the height is CL. So the area of triangle BKC is KC times CL times half. The area of the rectangle CLJK is just C KC times CL. Clearly, triangle BKC is half of the rectangle CLJK. And now we know that the area of square EDBC is equal to the area of rectangle CLJK. This is because the area of triangles EAC and BKC are both one half of square EDBC and rectangle CLJK. And the triangles are also congruent. This means that half of square EDBC is equal to half of rectangle CLJK. Or the area of the whole square is equal to the area of the whole rectangle. What we have proved so far is that the area of triangle EDBC equals the area of rectangle CLJK. What we have just done can also be applied to the other side of the proof. Thank you very much. First, triangle GCA is congruent to triangle BHA because of the SAS postulate. Line CA is congruent to line HA because they are both sides of square CAHK. Line AG is congruent to line AB because they are also sides of the same square, which is square BFGA. Lastly, angle GAC of triangle GCA is a 90 degree, which is labeled and what is labeled beta. And angle BAH of triangle BHA is also a 90 degree plus beta, so they are congruent. 
Now we have to prove triangle GCA is one half the area of square BFGA. The base of triangle GCA is CA, which is also a side of square BFGA. The height of triangle GCA is BA, which is another side of square BFGA. Thus, area of the square is GA times BA, while the area of the triangle GA times BA times one half. You can say the same about triangle BHA and rectangle LAHJ. The base of triangle BHA is HA, and that is on the side of rectangle LAHJ. The height of triangle BHA is LA, which is also another side of LAHJ. The area of triangle BHA is HA times LA times half, which is while the rectangle is HA times LA. This proves the area of BHA is half the area of rectangle LAHJ. Now that we know that triangle GCA and triangle BHA are congruent, and they are both one half of square BFGA and rectangle LAHJ, we can say that the area of square BFGA and the area of rectangle LAHJ are equal. We know that square EDBC is equal to the area of rectangle CLJK. And we know the area of square BFGA is equal to the area of rectangle LAHJ. So that means square EDBC plus square BFGA equals rectangle CLJK plus rectangle LAHJ or square GAHK. This shows that AB squared plus B squared BC squared is equal to CA squared, or in other words, the Pythagorean theorem. This concludes the proof, and always QED. All right, class, settle down, settle down. My name is President James Garfield, but you guys can call me Mr. President. I'm going to be your substitute teacher for today. All right, looks like everyone is here. Let's get started. Today, we're learning about... Excuse me, bro. Oh, yeah, sorry. What is this music you're listening to? Oh, this is disgraceful. You need to pay attention in class. All right, I brought here a friend of mine. This is Euclid. My name is Euclid. I was born and raised in the great city of Athens. I was the creator of the Book of Elements. I was the greatest mathematician of all time. <laughs> ah, yes. Good to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. And this is my friend, Bhaskara. Hello. I'm the great mathematician, Bhaskara. I'm from the country of India, and my family has a long tradition of being the greatest students in the math class. Now I'll pass it on to you. Good to meet you, sir. 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 Good to I don't know, the president? No! You shall become a doctor or an engineer or you will disgrace your family. Alright, alright! We came here to teach you not to kill him. And you, you better learn to respect me, okay? I was the second smartest kid in Waterville, Vermont, behind that awfully handsome guy, Mandy Norris. Now, as you can see, we have my proof up here. Listen, Brock. Yeah. So, the area of this whole trapezoid it is A, or the area of any trapezoid is A plus B squared over 2. The area of all triangles, or at least in this, is AB over 2 plus AB over 2 plus C squared over 2 because this is a triangle. Now, this is the equation. So, A plus B over 2 squared is the area of the whole trapezoid. But then, if you add all the triangles together, that also makes the area of the whole trapezoid. So, a, over, a plus B over 2 squared is equal to AB over 2 plus AB over 2 plus C squared. But now you can just multiply both sides by 2. 
So a plus b squared is equal to ab plus ab plus c squared. And then next, you have to foil out wait, a plus wait, b squared. I know how to do this. Foil it out. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is 2ab plus c squared. So you subtract the 2ab to get a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Oh, the very good beta, that, but that was my part. Anyway, so like he said, you subtract the 2ab from both sides and you get the final equation. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, which is finally the Pythagorean theorem. Thank you. Okay. Hello, my name is Alex, and I will be playing Euclid. <laughs> I am Alex. I am Euclid, the famous mathematician from Athens. <laughs> and we're going to be teaching you about Euclid's and Garfield's proof of the Pythagorean Theorem. Yeah, I press the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. Good to meet you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Let me to the moon. Let me play. Among the stars. No, 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 no. Let 